we're looking at a barren piece of ground, so there's a lot of maybes all attached to it. I'm very pleased with how how everything is going. Maybe it's a bit taking a bit longer than expected, and maybe I got involved a little bit too much. But other than that, it's great. If we look at my involvement in the project, it went from paying the bills to actively uh, making things happen. It wasn't going ahead as quick. I want to keep moving beyond where we are currently. So on time, in full is what's driving us. It's uh, May the 4th, 2017. Just under 15 months since Neil first filmed me on day one. Uh, loading in the cabin and setting the site up. Uh, at that point, this was just a, a, a flat field. Um, and in that time, we've changed it into this 250,000 square foot manufacturing and storage facility. We cut and filled the site to level it up. Uh, we then commenced the piling over a 10 week period, two and a half thousand piles, 20 meters deep. Uh, from then it was the foundations, uh, again, 10 week period, and then we commenced the steel work. This was slightly different because halfway through Mike changed his mind uh, and wanted, you see the banding at the top, which is a rain screen, that's just cosmetic. Mike then decided he wanted all, all the building like that, um, which kind of added quite a few weeks onto the project. Hi, today is the 6th of June. Uh, we're now coming into the new reception area. We've now had a couple of months to effectively settle it into the building. As soon as you walk in, you're presented with Victoria's interpretation of what the building will look like. You can see the factory there in all its glory. So I think it's a great, colourful rendition. A lot has actually changed since she was last here. So as we're going on to it, uh, there's a lot that needs to be changed. You can see the observation deck on the top. We have five, four or five machines transferred from the other side. The rest are brand new. And as we're coming on to here, you can see the guys are actually installing the machine. The machine should separate the wastage that goes down the, down the belt, the purpose-built belt. The waste plastic goes into the grinder, and then you can see here all the materials, so it's filled up to this area. The whole area is round about a tonne of material, and then we use this back into the system. So this is totally separating the blue material, and we put the blue material back into production. So we are recovering more. That saves us money, but it also minimizes our carbon footprint. And then one can see that from here, the pipe at the bottom takes it straight to the machine to be fed back in. Well, just on the last few days now we've got guys doing some remedial works on the externals um, we had guys in here just uh, doing the remedial works on the decoration yesterday we finally finished the carpets yesterday following uh, Mike's decision to change the original spec uh, so as you can see now he's got a lovely green lawn to work on butterflies you could say it's you get the feeling summer's on its way and warmer weather. But I know you've asked that question of a lot of people, but yeah, to me, no, not really. I'd just like to wish Mike all the best with it uh, in the future, with a 
next two developments. Yeah, keep making those boxes. When we set off on the journey, I were always said that we know what our aim is, but things may change and things have changed dramatically since we was here. Originally, I wanted to build half the factory and the whole of the butterfly offices, but that really, the economics of building half the factory meant that we best build in the factory. We're now a landlord. We then had the idea of doing the design center so all along, this has been really designed as a resource for the community. Okay, that's lovely. 